Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a special plan with me. This is my birthday week and I'm using the Planner Birthday Kit from Scribble Prints Co. I believe this kit is quite old, I don't think this is the current kit format. Um, it's exclusive art from Kitnish Girl Jess and I saw this kit in, I think it was a kit collection video that Kat did, peace.love.plan, and she mentioned that she was using it for my birthday week and I was like, I want to use it for my birthday week. <laughs> so here we are. It is the 25th to the 1st, 25th, 25th of September to the 1st of October week. My birthday was on the 25th of September and I'm using the purple planner birthday kit, which I just love it. It's so perfect. It's like such a me kit. Obviously it's purple. Um, the fashion girl like kind of looks a little bit like me, the one that I've put on the sidebar, but I just, oh, it's so cute. I'm really happy. With how the spread turned out, I'm just looking. I'm just looking at it right now, um, and obviously there's a dog, so it's just such a lovely kit, and I'm really. I've already said like I'm super excited about it, <laughs> but yeah, just really happy with how this kit went went together. So um, I'm a little bit slow because using a different format and the sidebar threw me off this week because I didn't have a toolbox. I think because I picked this kit up so late, like I bought it this year, and I think it came out at least like over a year if not slightly longer probably longer <laughs> so um there were no add-ons available so I just like picked up the main like vertical kit so I'm making do with what I've got but I put three full boxes in the sidebar separated them with a bunch of glitter headers and kind of like made up the extra space so that worked out well I've got a habit tracker for my habits Ironically, <laughs> I'm tracking using the Habit Tracker app that Tom and I have made. It's actually on the App Store. It got approved today. So um, I'll link that down below if you're interested. But we have plans to expand it, add loads more things. But right now it's a Habit Tracker and um, I'm tracking all my habits like digitally. Is that, is that how you say the word? Digi digitally? Digitally? That feels wrong. Digitally? Okay. <laughs> I'm tracking all my habits digitally, oh my god, on my phone, and um, using my like planner habit tracker to mark that I actually checked in with the app and did track my habits. So, um, I did put the it's my birthday thing, oh this is the app by the way, <laughs> this is one of the themes, there's three themes, um, but yeah, I put the it's my birthday on Monday because I wanted to use the little script, so I marked it with like some deco from the kit and a flag, and I just put that in before the full box because it was kind of like the main thing on the day. I feel like a Monday birthday is like a really weird day because it's like just past the weekend. I guess it's not that weird like I feel like a midweek birthday would be equally odd but yeah um, obviously like a weekend birthday is like optimal but yeah so I got up, I opened my gifts and cards from friends and family so that was really fun and then I had to put the mystery live because obviously it was the 25th which is the day the mystery goes up I don't know why, like, I picked my birth, it's, like, it's always going to fall on my birthday or Christmas, <laughs> like, two kind of key days where I probably don't want to do work, but anyway, I did that in the morning, then I'm really struggling to find a sticker because we went for afternoon tea at the garden centre, well, Tom didn't get afternoon tea because he doesn't like it, but I got an afternoon tea and Tom got fish and chips, so we went to a new garden centre to us, I just googled garden centers afternoon tea because I knew what I wanted but we like to go to new places to kind of scope them out see what they're like what their plants are like and stuff and it was such a lovely garden center so it was called Gates and it's actually like like um on the outskirts of Leicestershire we drove for like 50 minutes and we were like how far away <laughs> is this place but um it was really nice it was huge they had a massive Christmas section it was amazing to like wander around and oh it's so pretty so we went there and I didn't buy any plants but I did buy some plant supplies which I've marked with like some potting like supplies from Paper Shire. Um, this is when the day, it took a bit of a turn. Um, I was like, I'll just, you know, I've got, I've got, I got a new moss pole. Well, not a moss pole, I got a, like um, a metal support thing for my big Monstera and I was like, oh, I'll repot him because if I don't do it today I'll like lose momentum and at least then he can have like good support um and if you watch the vlogs you'll know that he wasn't doing particularly well after I repotted him so I thought I just need to have a look so I took him out of his pot and there was so much fruit rot 
It didn't smell weird, which is like, apparently the dead giveaway for root rot is that it smells, but it didn't smell. So I'm confused, but like these roots were not good. They were so squishy and not healthy and like just completely disintegrated when I took him out of the pot. So I knew that was the end for this plant. So I basically took cuttings, was like really mardy about it. <laughs> um, and then I also looked at some of my other plants and realized that like he wasn't the only one that had root rot. I think the other two, I got to them in time, but this one was like really bad. So um, yeah, I, so it also means like the steak I bought for him, like at the garden center, like I have no need for it now because I don't have a plant that big anymore. <laughs> so that's annoying. But um, yeah, so I sulked about that for a bit. And then we got five guys because Tom was like, what do you want for dinner? Like we'll order whatever you want. So I chose five guys and the first time they canceled the order, like it got picked up and then it said it was cancelled. So I replaced the order and that one did arrive, but I was so hungry and it was just taking forever. So that was a bit annoying. And then um, we watched Fight Club in the evening. Uh, onto Tuesday. So this was a slightly better day. I was feeling a bit better. So I washed my hair in the morning and then I collated some kits. This would have been new releases from previous week because it was the PVC sale. So this week was also like getting all the PVC orders done. So I also printed and cut the tiered sale freebies this day and I printed my invoices and this actually takes quite a long time. Now that I print my invoices on A5 paper, when they go through the laser printer, for some reason it has like a, a massive delay between each sheet. Whereas if I print on A4 on my laser printer, the pages just like fly through and it's constant. But with A5 it doesn't and I like to buy my A5 paper like pre-cut. So obviously the alternative would be to print it on A4 paper and cut them into A5 invoices, but I don't cut the paper myself, so that's a bit annoying. Then I filmed my plan with me this day, and I also filmed the reveal for the mystery kit, the September one, and completely like butchered it <laughs> on the on the sticker. I've written like mystery reveal, but I spelt reveal wrong, and then I wanted to like cover it up, so I cut a mystery work sticker up and just put a film sticker over it, and it's not quite right but it looks much better than my handwriting and then I put a little like a uh, bow deco clip art piece in the gap. So next I propagated some plants so this was kind of from the previous day I wasn't sure how to do it because people were saying like you should let that like when you cut the bits of the plant off I know where to cut but people were saying like you should let their ends callus over so you should leave them for two hours like out of water just like lying somewhere to dry and people were saying you should leave it for 24 hours and some people were saying you should get like rooting gel or rooting powder and then there were other people saying that you shouldn't use a rooting gel or powder on cuttings you should only use it on roots <laughs> so I was so confused it's really annoying when there's like so much conflicting information and you don't really know which one to trust so I let my plants like callus over for a bit I did use the rooting powder but it just made my water really murky and I don't actually know if that helped so I have, I've stopped using it now <laughs> and the roots do seem to be growing but yeah I did that and I've actually since like cut them again because I think my cuttings were too big and when I think about how I want to sort of arrange my plant when they've rooted I want smaller cuttings so I've like basically started again and everything I did last week is kind of a write off with the propagation but oh well. Um, then I went through my school reports so when I met my mum for my birthday meal on the previous week she gave me a big bag of like things that I've made at school like my reports, certificates, like my GCSE with certificates like just loads of stuff that she'd obviously been keeping for me and is now my responsibility to look after. So I went through all my, all my reports. It's so weird to like read about yourself as a child because the way that I remember myself is not how other people saw me, <laughs> which is so weird. But um, it's also quite funny because we get to like year three and all my reports switch to being typed. But before then they were handwritten. And I can't imagine having to be a teacher and writing a report by hand for every child, like multiple times a year. Like that's amazing. But anyway, it was really kind of, fun and weird to go through those. Then on to Wednesday I had my singing lesson like usual and then I collated the goodie bags for the PVC orders so these were like the shop swap sampler bag things. 
Then I soaked my roots. <laughs> I think this was my smaller plant. <laughs> I basically like didn't realize one of them had root rot at this point still. So that's like a discovery I've yet to make. But I was soaking one of them in hydrogen peroxide mixed with water, which is meant to kill off any root rot. And I don't know if it worked, I think it has. So I did that this day and then we did a little cluster run. I think I was probably just feeling a bit sulky about my plants still. <laughs> it was a very up and down week. Once we get to the end of the week, you'll see it does improve. But yeah, like just this whole week, <laughs> my poor plants. So I did a little cluster run and I probably got, like, I think I got my free Costa cakes for your birthday. They let you have a like a freebie cake. So that was fun. I did get the salted caramel brownie, so I didn't get a cake, but it was really good. Then I packed orders. The sale orders take quite a long time because they're normally more complex than like orders outside of a sale. So just working through these most of the days this week, to be honest. I then uploaded my plan with me that I filmed the previous day and I had a headache and I think it must have been quite bad for me to mark it, but I don't remember it now. Um, then I worked on mock-ups for data, which is the habit tracker app. App will require you to have like examples like screenshot examples mocked up in iPhones and iPads for like every version of their phones. We did end up finding an app that sort of makes this easier so that was useful but it's quite like a tedious process. And then in the evening we watched YouTube. I don't know if I've mentioned this but I'm really enjoying this channel called Anti Chef and he does like challenge videos where he makes old Julia Child's recipes and they're just really funny so we've been watching a lot of that. Then on to Thursday, I had my waxing appointment for my eyebrows, so I marked that with like a little wax paper shire icon, and I did laundry this day. We, we were just getting really behind. I tend to do this, like I'll do loads of washing, and then I'll be like really smug that I'm on top of my laundry, and then get behind again. <laughs> so we're currently in the behind phase, trying to catch up. Then I marked doing orders and I love how I marked this. I've done it a few times in the spread, but I put like a piece of clip art underneath a doodle icon and then a script and it just looks really good and sort of helps to fill up the like bigger boxes because I tend to pick the smaller boxes or like the quarter boxes more often. Then I did some more research on plants. Um, I really just don't want to kill the ones that I'm like trying to save slash propagate again. I think I know what I did wrong, but I don't know. I'd, it's really like knocked my confidence as a plant parent, which is just so weird. And I'm sorry I'm like really fixating on this thing, but like it really, really was like stressing me out a lot this week. And I did quite a lot of research. I messaged some shops like hoping for advice and one didn't get back to me at all. The other one got back to me straight away. I think this was, yeah, it was on this day. She had like a live chat on her website and she got back to me and like asked for pictures and was just really really helpful so I did end up ordering some soil from her some new pots so I've ordered nursery pots that are clear so that I can actually see the roots so hopefully in future like if my plants are rotting or I've overwatered them I can visibly see and I can check on them a bit easier than if they're in like brown or black pots so that's the goal going forward. So I ordered those and I also got some fertilizer. Don't, I think it's fertilizer. It's like, I um, can't remember what it's called. It was like a, a, a treatment for them basically. It's meant to like make them happy. <laughs> I'm really trying. <laughs> so um, yeah, I did that. I watched some YouTube this day and we ordered from Chopsticks, which I think is like a Chinese takeaway. I don't know if they're nationwide or if they're just I think they are nationwide um, because we, I didn't really know what I wanted for dinner and I left it too late to cook and I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. It was okay. I think Tom likes it more than me, but like we have a similar restaurant near us called Oodles and it's just better, but because it's like so similar, I couldn't help but um, compare them. So that was a bit annoying. Then um, I just did some mystery work in the evening. I started work on a new brief. I didn't actually get that much done this day, but I started it and that's kind of the hardest part. So on to Friday, I didn't do new releases this day because we'd been working on the sale and I just didn't do them. But my plant stuff arrived really early. So I went and repotted my two plants that I was like a bit nervous about. I think they're doing okay. It's too soon to say. <laughs> I'd rather not say anything right now. Um, but yeah, I did repot those in the morning and treated the roots again and stuff. Then we received notice from Apple that our app got declined. <laughs> 
to be on the app store which was really annoying they don't really give you much detail you get like a blanket copy and paste reason why it was declined and it turns out that we needed to add the option to use the app without an account although we still like recommend making an account because then your habits are synced to you as a user rather than just being like on your device so if you lose your device or it gets wiped or something happens you won't lose your data but anyway we added that option and they approved it so that was good then we went to Tom's mum and dad's house and we had Chinese and cake to celebrate my birthday with them because I hadn't seen them. Well, I did see them before my birthday, but like not like around my actual birth date. So we went to theirs for that. And then when we got back, I packed more orders. I also packed orders like before this, but my planner is not chronological right now. Then we watched Drive to Survive when we got back. So Tom's been trying to encourage me to watch it and I am enjoying it but he watched it earlier in the year and that's basically like what got him into Formula One again. So I started to watch that. I do really enjoy like like learning more about the drivers like off the track, like about their families and them and like the law. Like I like when they make all the funny TikToks. So I'm always like sending Tom all the Formula One TikToks and I have no idea what they mean, but like I know they must be funny. <laughs> so it was probably like midnight at this point, but I was browsing eBay and I thought I'll just search like houseplant and do like the filters to be like nearest to me first just because I was just curious what was out there like I'm not buying more plants but if there was something interesting like I'd want to know so I did that and like so obviously I love monsteras it's not a joke that well obviously it's not a joke like it's no surprise or what's the phrase it's no secret <laughs> that I like monsteras but the variegated monsteras the ones with the white bits are like my favorite plants and there was a guy near me with five of them and when i say near me he was like five miles down the road and he had five of them for like an amazing price so i said to tom i was like is this a is this a scam is there a way this can be a scam so he was like i don't know because obviously like ebay is quite good for backing the buyer so i just bought one and I messaged the guy obviously it was midnight and I was like oh can I come in I can come anytime like trying not to be too keen but also like let me come because I was only buying one and he had five so I wanted to get there early to like have my pick of the bunch so I messaged him obviously didn't hear back because it was midnight and then the next morning I'm skipping ahead but the next morning he replied and he was like yeah like I live da 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 come at this time and I was like okay so I was like I feel like it must be real at this point I don't know so, I mean, the other thing I marked on Friday was just that I couldn't sleep very well, but I think that was unrelated. And I ended up looking at pandas on Wikipedia for literally like two hours because Tom told me that the, the pandas that are on loan to like many zoos, China is taking them back. So I was just like on a deep dive like all the pandas around the world. So anyway, Saturday morning, I packed orders and I was waiting for like this guy to reply, like, and we were like liaising with when he's free and stuff. So we went and got, well, we went to his house and we picked up the plants. Yes, plural, because I ended up getting two. <laughs> they were real. They were stunning. They had like fruit and flowers. Like, that's amazing. They're so healthy. So I've got two of them. I am deathly afraid that I'm going to kill them, especially given my track record with plants just this week. But, um, yeah I was so happy with them honestly like over the moon so I marked that the plants were real we collected them I was so excited and then Tom was like can we get some can we go to Greg's because he was really hungry and I'd basically just like forced him to come and get these plants with me so we went to the the Greg's near us like it's um part of a petrol station they're actually building another one near us <laughs> so that's fun but um we went there got some sausage rolls and I literally just like admired my plants all day but they're all that they haven't died yet though and it's been three four days so that's good but yeah I'm, I'm just leaving them alone I'm not gonna fuss with them because they're obviously happy how they are so yeah please if I mention touching these plants tell me no <laughs> anyway um I wrote a newsletter this day because it was the 30th of September so I had to send the monthly newsletter and we watched more drive to survive in the evening so no games night this day but we actually moved games night to Sunday then on Sunday I did laundry in the morning and I marked that I was nervous because I had my singing like club night thing that my teacher puts on so basically we have to pick a song 
it was a 90s or 80s theme I really wasn't like keen on the theme either and then it's just for like her students to like all come together and we have to like we don't have to but she encourages us to get up and perform in front of each other to basically like well I guess it's fun but <laughs> can you tell I didn't really enjoy it I, I like that I like the satisfaction of like doing it afterwards because I'm like yeah I did the hard thing but I don't actually know if it really helps me like because I make myself do it because I think it's going to be like character building but I don't think I do it frequently enough that it actually helps so I don't know I'm, I'm in two minds about if I want to do it again basically I think there's a Christmas one <laughs> I don't know or oh, I hate it basically I wasn't going to go into that but here we are so um yeah much I was nervous then I cleaned the rabbits and had a shower washed my hair all of that and then to mark the club night I just marked it with like a singing munchkin and I put I did it like the little script this was from the advent calendar I think it was like a script sampler I did because I didn't really know what to put and it was like quite wordy so I didn't want to put the whole thing on the box then we drove home and did I mark this no I got a burger I ordered from Boo which I think is a chain but it's like new near us oh new-ish probably not that new anymore but yeah it was okay I think I ordered it from a further away branch than the one I thought it was though and it, it was just a bit cold but it was fine I'd get it again if I was going and then um I packed orders I also packed orders like earlier so this also isn't chronological and then the final thing I marked was that we played Minecraft with Julia and Sean when we got back and Tom gave me and Julia saddles so we can now get horses and ride them around which is really fun but we didn't realize that your horse like can leave you so you have to tie it up or put it somewhere like contained <laughs> so we nearly lost our horses bringing them back so we had to walk all the way across our world not, not like super far but further than we wanted to ride with our horses we had to take them across the water <laughs> but yeah we got them back and that was fine so this is what I've got left of the kit I used most of the full boxes I've got lots of clip art left functionals glitter headers icons and stuff like that I did want to mention I think I forgot to say this earlier but this video is a collab with Kat because obviously she used this kit as well so her plan with me is up on her channel now and I'll link it down below if you want to go and see what her week was like but otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the plan with me I love how this spread turned out and I'll see you in my next video bye